Welcome back to On Air, the movie podcast where we talk about, guess what, movies. And this week's movie uh, was A Quiet Place, Day One. Yo, you're being too loud. They're going to hear you. Hey, both of you, shut up. No. Yo. <laughs> guys, stop talking so loud. Dude. No, Kenzie, they're going to You're talking Una, stop. way too loud, guys. They're you're gonna literally going to get us caught. Una, Dib's not it. Una's it. Dib's not, no. Whoever is the <laughs> loudest Mm-mm. gets no, killed. Una, That's how that works. Did isn't, you watch the movie? Your finger isn't on your nose. You're done for. Yep, I, I know exactly what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, tisk, tisk, who, tisk, who would like cheek. to start with our um, general thoughts here? General thoughts? Um, would you like to start, Kenzie? No. How about let's go down <laughs> the right, line? I'll, go, I'll start uh, first, as I normally do. Um, I really enjoyed this movie. Um, it was not as scary as I had expected it to be. It was, uh, like, not scary at all. Um, it was way more sadder than I expected as well. Like, I'll be completely honest, I did cry at the end of this movie. Like, full on sobbing. Who didn't? Yeah, Me. I don't know, man. I, I finished the movie spit. and my <laughs> older sibling walked over and was like, what is going on? And I'm like, nothing, I just need the movie. <laughs> it was really funny. <laughs> All right, um, Una, go. General I, thoughts. I did like this movie a lot. I don't know where, cause I've, I've seen the first one, but I haven't seen the second one. So I don't know where it, like ranks to me Mm -hmm. i think they're probably about even in like how much i like them compared to each other um yeah it was good i didn't expect to like it as much as i did yeah kenzie i've so so i have a very strong opinion about the quiet place because i've seen every single movie in Mm -hmm. theaters uh, the day it's come out ever since the first one Mm -hmm. i'm pretty on top of that um, Rose is a super fan. This one's my number. Uh, I, I, I feel like it's weird to rank it above number one because that was the first one. Mm-hmm. It's definitely my number two. It was, I was really, I really liked it because it was like, it. I saw the trailer and it's like, okay, these are not the characters from the last one. Mm-hmm. What in tarnation? I'm <laughs> not going to like this movie. I hate when series do this. Very enjoyed it. So good. Mm-hmm. It was so cool in theaters. Awesome. Sounds like it'd be fun to watch in a big theater like that. It was. It was loud. Mm. I think it was mm. IMAX. It was loud, but it's supposed to be quiet. Oh, yeah. I do want to say quiet sound quiet design place. was uh-huh. so uh-huh. awesome. It was mm, so yeah. good. I think the only time there was music was when they were, um, go- when they like actually got to Patsy's. I think that was the only time I heard music in the background oh, anyway. Yeah. Um, I didn't hear music any other time. That's what I love about this. Yeah, it was so good. Um, I don't know, man. It was just, I just, <laughs> yeah. I need the sheet. You, you, I pre- you I'm just, forgetting everything. What? I was just, I th- that's the end of my statement is that there. I just thoughts? really liked the, uh, I moved on to s- more specific stuff. You okay, uh, Michael? Yeah. Actually, characters yeah. you liked is next on the list. Okay, whatever, <laughs> man. Wait, I like how the director is Michael Sonoski. Yeah, why pig. does it say pig in... Is that... Did I'm assuming that's another movie he made. Oh, it oh is. okay. I thought it was... Called I thought Desiree just, like, really hated him. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. Like, I, th- I, don't, I wasn't sure if he was maybe, like, a bad dude or something. <laughs> <laughs> so you, like... I don't know. Are, are we gonna cancel you? Is that what's happening? Is that you call this well, guy I, pig? No, I thought she was calling him a pig. And so, <laughs> okay. So anyway, characters we liked. I oh Eric God. was my favorite. I did He's really cool. like Eric. And also Frodo. Oh yeah, Naturally. of course. Frodo, best. Honestly, like, was that like a? There, uh, that was like I know it was obviously like a real cat actor. Yeah, it was played by two there? cats, yeah. Schnitzel and Nico. Nico, Nico? J. Nico. Wait, I know that. I didn't know Nico was a cat. Oh, uh, but was there like he no like CGI or was that like all cat? All cat. I all believe cat. all cat. It was a very, really? They were very well behaved. Very good cats. It's uh yeah, Frodo was played by two cats and not CGI. That's awesome. Oh my goodness. Wild. <laughs> Didn't happen. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, I also, I really loved all the characters. I was so sad when Ruben died. Um, I was like, oh, yeah, no, was I was expecting the, that. Was he the guy yeah. in the beginning with the, the, the nurse. He was the nurse. The yeah. 
He was just. Oh yeah, that was. The I nurse. didn't expect that. I thought he was fine. Yeah. Yes, in the it was such a slow build up. I was like, mm-hmm. it's just a tense scene, and then b- b- bam, and I was like, whoa. Yeah, he um he ripped his shirt on the generator, and um honestly, I I've thought about this so much because I'm very upset th- about the fact that he died. So I've been thinking, if that was me, here's what I would do: you make the sound, and then you quietly move to a different it's, area. It's so fast, though. Have you seen a? Pig yeah, that but he was like, he was. He like, did kind of just stand there. Yeah, he d- he was just standing there. He was like. He, no, I, no, he he went like this. Uh. I'm, I'm like, guessing he kind of like, expected that. He after literally that. just looked down yeah. and he was like, "Oh, yeah." Dip. And then and then, and it was like oh, so dips. sad because cause, um, cause, cause Sam couldn't even like cry or scream. Like you see someone you know just die in front of you, and you're like, "I honestly, I didn't have that much of an attachment to him because in my mm-hmm. opinion, he was like not there that much." Well, it was the beginning of the movie. It so. was. It is kind of tragic, though, that that she was all like, you're not my friend, like, a couple scenes before that. And then, like... Bam. Yeah. And, and then, then he just gone. dies. Yeah. Like, aw. Especially... And when they, like, reunite, and he, like... They, like, hug oh, yeah, each other yeah. before that. That was sweet. Now, yeah. kids, I thought he was going to be, like, the main... Because I knew it was, like, her and then another, another guy, guy. And I thought it was him yeah, the that's whole time. I so I was really confused I saw, when he died. Cause like when Eric popped out of the water from the subway, I was like, hang on a second, Ruben? And I was like, wait a second. His Ruben's hair wasn't like that. Who is this guy? I was like, they're just gonna introduce a new guy after Ruben died. I, I don't like this guy. But then he was so nice and I was like, okay, I love, I love him. this He's guy. He's my favorite. Eric is awesome. All of yeah. the stuff he did was so like he did not have to go get that pizza and then like mm-hmm. And, like, like, write patsies on it. Yeah, exactly. Or, like, do the magic trick. I would have been, like, telling her that she's insane and delusional and that that is so impractical to try to find pizza in the middle of an apocalypse. But here's the thing. But he went and got it anyway. The thing is, she... The whole reason she wants to go get pizza is because she knows she's gonna... and, yeah, and she knew she she's going to die anyway, what so she'd my, rather go do something while she can before favorite, no one makes pizza anymore. My favorite oh. Eric scene was That pizza when, must have been cold, though. <laughs> it really? felt like gross. My favorite Eric scene was definitely when she was walking in the rain with Frodo, and he was just following her. It was such yeah. a nice... I don't remember the specific shot, but it was just such a nice scene. Mm-hmm. It was like... um, I really loved just like the like the raw human connection that you can tell from like the whole movie like mm-hmm. like there's like a huge sense of like community like cuz like at the beginning like every like it's new york city it's loud it's bustling like there's so many people and then as they all but later on they like um after she uh helps the two kids and the the whole like herd of people are walking down to the boats i was like can i was like it's like i don't know i felt like they were like can i talk about that yeah go for it i I just have two issues with this movie Mm -hmm. first off it's day one and she passed out within two minutes of the first day and i did not get to see day one basically Mm. because of the bus incident right okay i didn't know if i made that clear but um i was i honestly i really wish i could just see the because my issue is when she was finally awake everyone realized that like we need to be quiet. I really wish I could see people like genuinely realize. Oh yeah, like actually need- starting. I to was realize when that. I watched the first one, um, like the first Quiet Place movie. I was wondering, like, how did they know to be quiet? What was that process like when this thing first started? I, like, how many people died because they didn't know they needed to be quiet? I know. You so s- it was cool to see that. I know mm-hmm. you said the you haven't watched the second one, and I'm just gonna talk about a brief scene. I'm just not spoiling. I just wanted to let you know. Um, at one point, the dad and the daughter are in a diner, and there's a lot of other people, and the monster's walking by the window. And I can tell when the dad realizes it's noise because he starts quieting people. Like, this guy was praying, and he was, like, quieting him down. And then the monster did attack when someone's phone rang. And I could see in his eyes mm-hmm. that's when he realized mm-hmm. noise. My mm-hmm. other issue with this movie, I just wish the massacre scene was more, like, longer because it was which one when a uh, oh, at the very start yeah no 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 it's this scene where she comes out of the place and there's just thousands of people just walking oh that the one mm. that they're getting to the boats one of my favorite it's honestly it is my favorite mm-hmm. i just wish it was you could see more 
but it mm-hmm. was it was really good. I love the shot when it like pans up and you can see the monsters just Yeah. It 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 was that like big wide shot and I was like something's going to happen isn't it? I and could then see it. and I then it took me a second it. to actually register the guy and I was like oh no. Oh no. That, that's what also makes me mad. I feel like a lot of people registered, "Hey, we make sound." It's like your dragging suitcases on the ground. At least like pick it You're up. You're dragging yeah. stuff on and, the And like ground. I understand like the wheelchair th- guy, like he couldn't help it. Like he just, you know. Mm-hmm. I feel like he was pretty old though. He he must be pretty light. You could just pick him up. I might get canceled, but I honestly kind of maybe would have left him. Wild. <laughs> I it's just too him. much noise. You're going to leave Grand Peepaw behind? No, I'd set, I, I'd set him up like a little fort. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Carry him like a backpack. Just, come on, Grand Peepaw. We got to get to the boat. <laughs> Another thing that stresses mm-hmm. me out is because I was just with my cousins. Mm. Babies. That's oh, yeah. So, Indigo would have been. Ooh. That's yeah. why in the, in the first one, I'm like, off. I don't understand why they decided to, like, have a baby. <laughs> after, I was, like, two years after, like... Because we have day one, and then I think it is two years, right? Yeah, after so it's, it's the timeline is on. day one. Why would you think one. that's... Especially after your first kid died from noise. I exactly. feel like that's, that's like, really... Like, don't have a baby in the middle of a, an apocalypse where sound makes these things come after you. Because That's um, so dumb. That's Violet, actually wild. I was sitting with Violet last night, and she just yaps and yaps, and I was like, man, kid... You would not last five minutes that reminds in that me. movie. Yeah. I was I watched this with my parents and we were my cat was in the room and we were oh noticing God, how Archie. quiet Frodo was. And we were like, Oh, if my cat was here, we would yeah. all be dead in an instant because well, he's I, so loud. That's what I was saying. <laughs> I was um uh, I was watching the movie and then one of my cats walked over and I was like I was like, Charlie, you would get me dead in yeah, ten seconds. Kill us all. And it was um I think the reason why Frodo's so quiet is he's because a yeah, animal. he's a service animal. So they're they're more that's, that's quiet than animals. normal. And he is still pretty loud like that the when they first find each other again and there's the big thing and Frodo gets scared and runs to the door. Mm-hmm. At least he, he does bring the thing there. Oh yeah, imagine if there was a bell, that'd be wild. Um <laughs> um but yeah, like I w- I said this to my mom. I was like, "Shut up, mom." Uh, I gotta get I that. You said, mo- "Shut up, mom!" <laughs> shout out, mom! Shout out, my mom! Because I have to shout yeah. out my mom mm-hmm. every episode. Obviously. Um, and um, I said to her, I was like, "You could not bring any kind of animal. It has to be a service animal specifically. It couldn't be anything else, because the they would be the exception. most quiet." The only and I was like, "But then, still, people are still gonna try and bring their pets in anyway." Because mm-hmm. you know how people are. I would bring Pokey, but that's because Pokey didn't talk. Mm. R.I.P. Pokey. Yeah, I miss her. Um, Actually, she was too fat. I'd be like, creak, creak, <laughs> creak, creak, <laughs> creak. It's wild. <laughs> Rest in peace. She was so fat. She would have gotten us killed. <laughs> creak, creak, creak. <laughs> it's actually wild. But um, yeah, was there any other like specific scenes that we wanted to talk about real quick? The scene where he jumps off the thing and the thing goes, ah, loves that scene. Which part? He jumps off the dock and the thing is oh. like so close and he goes, ah. Yeah, that was like straight out of an action movie. It was so funny. Yeah, I was like, whoa. I liked the start where it was like, since it, everything like blew up, mm-hmm. so it was super like smoky and stuff, so you couldn't actually see like what was grabbing yeah. people at first. And it's like showing how they're like, slowly learning mm-hmm. how these things work that's such and a also scene. they're slowly revealing what they are mm-hmm. so it's like oh yeah showing like people like the ambulance runs by yeah. and they I, like I also really liked the use of um like like first off the military knows so much i was not expecting them to know that much i was like what they're these guys are prepared have they been expecting this um but um but they were on helicopters, and I was like, that's smart, because as long as you're above the buildings and they can't jump over to you, you're fine, and you can still, and you can lure th- them away with the that's loudness thinking, and yeah. protect mm. the citizens, which was a good, which was a smart thing. It's kind of funny, because honestly, when I think of these monsters, I picture them having a little voice like, I'm gonna get you. <laughs> like, I'm gonna come get you. Don't you worry about that. I'm gonna come get you. I, I, I wish, honestly... I'm literally gonna pie with the, no. I'm not gonna pie with the movie. I'm gonna like do a voiceover, and I'm gonna make them have their own little voices. Oh yeah. Like when Ruben dies, I'm gonna make oh. a little voice, and I'm gonna be like, I got you. 
<laughs> Stop. Don't you disrespect Ruben like that. Can't disrespect him They look him so like funny. I can't take them see. They, I don't get, they remind true. me of the that one guy. They remind me of that one guy from Stranger Things. Yeah, Michael again. Yeah, that thing. I know. I was thinking that. Yeah. They're so funny looking. I they can't. are. They're like so weird. Um, I like how they walk like... I like how they walk like gorillas. They're like, uh. <laughs> um, uh, oh, wait, oh, can I, so, I talk about Oh, yeah, scene? go for it. Go I for like it. the scene where she's under the ambulance and the guy's like, help me. And he goes, oh, like, yeah. It's so funny when they, like, I remember, I forget, it might have been a military person, but he was like standing there and he's like, go away. And the thing comes out of nowhere. He's like, ah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that it's, was a military so guy. It's so funny when they attack. And it's like, it looks so realistic. But I can't sit there and take that seriously. Wild. They just got those big old hands and they're like, ah. <laughs> just like scoop no, them they, up. No, honestly, they just slap the people. <laughs> I don't know if they like, because I know they have claws, obviously, but it literally looks like they go, bah. Yeah, it's really funny. Um, I just wanted to talk about the like the background characters of that one family. Um, oh, yeah, 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 I know who you're talking about. Under the waterfall. Under the, uh, fountain. the fountain. No, I was talking oh. about um, the ones that like Feel helped her when now. she like after she passed out. Oh yeah, the, the guy he was like, shh, mm-hmm. shh, shh. oh I pumped the mic. But he, um, yeah, the guy there. Um, I was so happy to see him alive and his wife. Uh, I don't. You don't see the kid at the end, but I'm assuming the kid's okay. No, the wait. What? Which kids? The ones that were with? No, the the kid that belonged to the family at the beginning. That's what yeah. I mean. Yeah, that guy. I, he was on the boat. Oh, I didn't see him. I was too busy focusing on Eric, I'll be honest. All the kids were on the boat. Dude, I, I, I was literally ooh. like, like the, when Eric was running down the dock, I was like, please, another issue, please another be issue okay. I, have, I can't issue. do another guy. Another, another issue Yeah, I have. go for it. So when she's running and breaking the things, obviously she can tell when the monsters get distracted and start running. Break more things. Yeah. You're already yeah, doing no, it. I was why wondering did she why just, she didn't. She just sat there, She saw honestly. them going after him, and she didn't continue to break the stuff. She just let them go well, after I know, him I know she had. I'm mm-hmm. pretty sure it was... Did she... Was it cancer she had? She yeah, had, she has cancer. Yeah, so I know, like, honestly, your body is reacting to that. It's a horrible thing to go through. Why can't you just... She had that quilba. She could have just not gone... that. Like, she could have just gone, wow. Physically... But it's like though, you just right? she, she couldn't just, even she, kick her own door down. She just sat there. Well, yeah, but like I can't she... kick a door down. Eric could. I could. That, that's Eric. That's a full grown man, basically. I can't kick a door down. Yeah, I guess so. Can you kick a door down? Psh, I could. Probably. Look at me I, in the I eyes and tell me no, you can I break couldn't. a door down. I couldn't do it. I couldn't. I mean, that door looked very weak. So yeah. It did. Also, I when they got to her apartment, I was like, I was like, huh? Did they just break into this apartment? I was like, is she lying to him? It was like, <laughs> is this? But then she like was looking for her meds, and I was like, this is her apartment. And then she, then there was her book, and I was like, okay, now I know for one hundred percent sure it is her apartment. Mm-hmm. Um, also, my mom was watching the movie with me when um, that scene happened, where they were like, where it was um, thundering, and they were like using the thunder to, to yell, and we were like, yes, get those pent up emotions out. I love get get all those feelings out in a in, in a healthy, emotionally w- uh, good way, you know. I'm trying to think because I can't. Awesome. I don't remember the second movie that well because I did not enjoy it. Um, it was actually good. Um, <laughs> Never mind. I changed my mind. No, I'm scared. I'm gonna make Una think it's bad. Um, I I think in the second movie they use some type of rain to communicate. Mm. That's what I like. They use stuff just mm-hmm. mm. like adapting. I remember in the first one they used like the way they did with the fountain. Waterfall. Yeah, they used the waterfall same way they did with the fountain in this one. Where in like, the rain and the thunder. Oh yeah, and the um. <laughs> The like, <laughs> no, it's thunder. not that. <laughs> no, I just thought of something really dumb. What? You gonna say no, it? No, it's like take your time. <laughs> Any day now. You, what, While we're young. Like, what if you sneeze or you fart? <laughs> like, I just, I was thinking about what if you just fart in the middle and the thing just goes. <laughs> that what wasn't. A- Una would be dead. Una would be dead. Una would be dead. Well, she did have to hold in a cough a couple times, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But like still, when they in, in the she last up. three mm-hmm. movies, no one has sneezed 
a farted, and I believe that's highly unrealistic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, especially with all that dust, I would have been at you, at you, at you. Oh at yeah, you. bro, you better believe I would be sneezing. This My no asthma way. would be acting up. Yeah, it would be. Um, yeah, no, I would. I guarantee I would not make it. I Dude, do. I couldn't even go without like music either. Like, like mm. in a world where you can't listen to music. Well, I mean, you, she had the earbuds. Yeah, she was chilling. Still, you could hear the music from outside That's of it. That's just because her earbuds are bad. Mm. <laughs> Not, no, it's going to sound like it's a sponsorship. <laughs> no, don't do mind. that. Um, Sponsoring Kenzie earbuds. Kenzie buds. No. Um, Kenzie, buds. Earbuds. Kenzie buds. Um, easy buds. No. That um, sounds like I'm trying to say easy bake oven. <laughs> Does uh, it? <laughs> it really does. <Easy> buds. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna cook on I the next say. podcast. I'm gonna have a skillet over here, and I'm gonna I would, be like, I would really love to know what <laughs> Eric was doing at like at the beginning. Going to work. Well, he was go- he was in law school. Um, going to work. Law he school. was in law school. Going to school. Yeah, there, that's there you go. That's better. Um, Third times the he had a suit on. He was gonna like prosecute a monster and be like, Mister Monster, <laughs> why do you hate the noise so much? And he would have been like. I got you. Um, but yeah, um, I can't take this movie uh, seriously. If you can tell. <laughs> That's it's fair. a funny movie. It's not. <laughs> it's not. It's so sad. Didn't you say you cried during it? A little. I teared up at the end. Cause I was, was full on sobbing. Oh, I was really nervous that one of them was gonna die, and he was saved. And then it's just her standing there, and she just. It made me sad because I realized. Dude. How she just did not want to live anymore. She, yeah, I she don't, didn't don't think see it was. A, not that she didn't want to live, but I think it's it was like, that she knew that she wouldn't be able to survive. Especially for since long. like so she they had like other things to deal with because like other people have like gotten injured or something, I like the, yeah. I like and the they note. need help as I well. I like the note at the end, Eric. Don't get my cat fat. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. She's very. Yeah, I. I Frodo really had hope such an attitude. He was sassy. He was very sassy. Frodo, oh yeah, he My was. Opinion, there was some scenes where we looked at the cam and I was like, okay, sassy. He's just like yeah. Archie. Also, I can I just hate say that picture of Archie <laughs> sitting? By the way, I don't know if you've seen it. No, he's just sitting. Are you asking in the audience look- if they've seen this picture of my cat? No, it's talking no, to Michael. You're, okay, you can tell me later. Um, I, I wanted to. You to- too. Oh yeah, that one. Uh, the this one ha- is not normal. <laughs> <laughs> this is look at his leg. That's not normal. Who does that? That Archie, cat. Apparently, he's um, a weird little. I can't express. That's true. I okay. can't express. Um, <laughs> why? <laughs> um, but uh, I wanted to say that um, Eric is just so meekor, honestly. Like, just the the he's he. He follows a cat first off, mm-hmm. and then I he finds too. the cat's owner, and then he follows the cat's owner, and in the cat's owner is like, okay, here's what you need to do to get to safety, and then doesn't do that and just keeps following her. Like, that's <laughs> what a bad <laughs> listener. <laughs> yeah, it, no, but it's just like I think he was scared. Yeah, he yeah, was. Of course he, was. he was absolutely Suck like. it up. <laughs> he was absolutely frightened. No, Frodo was man. so sassy in that scene when he's he like he gets out of the water and he's like looking around and Frodo's like. I yeah. saw him look up and down. I saw him be like, mm. um, but musty. yeah, I feel like he must have smelled so nasty. I'm sorry. Oh, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> the yeah. subway water. I feel oh, so yeah. bad. I feel so bad for that sweaty, cat, man. Sweaty gym sock vibes. Oof. Like that's probably what he smelled like. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I, I just, I, I just really loved like the, like, relationships in this movie because they were all like because like normally you would think i was like at the beginning of this movie when eric first like met her i was like oh are they gonna do a romance thing i'm really really glad they did it and then they didn't and i'm so glad it made the it made it so much better if they did a romance i was not gonna be there it was such like i can't express it it, feels more genuine when it's just like like a platonic it it would be really yeah because that's like oh on the sheet, he, it says... Drippy subway man um, covered in subway <laughs> water. Love you, even though we have to be quiet. Yeah, like, no. That's, the, that's my biggest concern, is finding love. Right On the yeah, sheet, it says that the film director confirmed that Eric is gay. So. Oh. He has to... Of course he... Have you looked... I... <laughs> I, I <laughs> wow. 
No, I'm not. Of course he is. Of course. No, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. As soon as I saw him, I was like, he's a little foodie. As soon as I saw him. Oh, man. Just a little. Like, <laughs> yeah, I can't. Desiree. Yeah, the face palm is about how I feel right now. Oh, my God. I can't. Wait. Okay, of you- course he is. <laughs> Have you looked at him? Look <laughs> no, I'm just saying he looks like such a little. F- he looks, <laughs> he a little looks fruit. like a little fruit. <laughs> Can you say that? <laughs> he looks like a little. Kenzie, fruit. you're gonna get canceled. How? Is that bad? <laughs> you're judging people on their appearance, and that's no good. Una, you thought Desiree called the director. <laughs> I wasn't judging on appearance. I was judging by the word that is written <laughs> in yeah, the sheet that we have to look at. Well, it's the it says she... pig in parentheses right next to his name. You wouldn't assume that she's calling no, him a pig? No, because every other time we look at the spreadsheet, it says like the list of... No, it doesn't. Yes, it, yes, it does. does. I forgot. Yes, yes so. it does. I yes, forgot. I wouldn't yes, expect he's only directed one oh thing, God. and it's called pig. Get outside. You're banned. I I have to watch Pig tonight. I have to see what that's about. <laughs> I'm like really no no no. Hear me out. Yeah. This was such a good movie. Mm-hmm. I I really want to see if Pig. It's like about like, a Peppa Pig hog movie. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Do we have anything more to say about this film? Like we should. <laughs> Peppa Pig should have been in it. Um. <laughs> Sorry. What else is on the sheet? <laughs> um, I'm Pim and Papa now, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I have to calm down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never invited <laughs> on again, am I? <laughs> <laughs> we should do pig for the next pod. Oh my god. <laughs> Una, quickly. Does any. Please, does anyone else have anything more to say? Let's that go scene with the bar looked like the Winchester, and then it reminded me of Sean, big Edgar Wright fan, by the way, mm. reminded me of Shaun of the Dead. Mm-hmm. And then it, it was like, me too. for that scene with Ed, where they're like telling him to be quiet because they, they can't attract the zombies. I'm like, right. it's the same thing. Oh it, my gosh. I love Sean. It's the same thing. <laughs> this, this this scene's wild. They, yeah. Actually, comparing um, The World's End to, um, to this movie, because they're both aliens. Um, mm. I liked the setup for mm. A Quiet Place better just because it got right into it. it uh, uh, the World's Very End took a long time. I was like, I was like really bored throughout that part of the movie. There ain't but no. Well, I like but this one for The World's End. There ain't yeah. no I guess, dilly dally. That's the wrong movie, was just so I can't get into that. Now. Those aliens yeah. took their time. The, those aliens. <laughs> well, they set up that no, time it was to it. because they were the whole point. It's similar to Shaun of the Dead. It's like everything is already they're already so oblivious that the point is that they don't even notice right away. Yeah, so, and then but I've, they're like it's well, a, honestly no because wait no no we should do oh, final ratings right should we all right I suppose hey. all right Kenzie go first me yes. oh wow golly gee um <laughs> golly gee it's golly, golly G. G. Shh. I'm doing my final rating. <laughs> Five out of five, honestly. I love this movie. Mm-hmm. Um, especially my opinion going into it was very bad. I was like, I am not going to like this. Very, Maybe that's why I enjoyed it so much. Mm. Characters, amazing. Setting, amazing. The aliens, funny. Mm. I'm going to get you. Yeah. I'm going to get you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I liked it. Solid four out of five. Mm. Um, I would definitely say that this is a five out of five for me. Definitely. Honestly, maybe it is really the best good. in the series so far. I, I, I feel know like my mom said she liked it the most. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's controversial because I feel like I always feel like it's weird if I put like if you put the new one before the original. Definitely, yeah. but maybe it was the setting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It honestly, I, also, I like the relationships with the characters. Yeah, a lot. like their dynamics. Also, Fe- no, also, I was gonna call him Frito. <laughs> Frito. <laughs> Frito. I would name a cat Frito. He um, looks like a Frito. Frito. I'm gonna eat him. How many calories, Una? Um, um, the, the nine hundred. Ton. No, nine hundred. Ton. I, I meant to say ten, and I said ton. <laughs> One, t- two. How much is a ton? Two thousand. Sure. 1, how 000? would I know? How much is a ton? <laughs> I don't <know>. Anyone? <laughs> okay. A man's um, gonna like knock on the window and be like, five. <laughs> five it's more what? than five. Five what? Um. Five cats. Okay, anyway, <laughs> next movie is yeah, Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent. 
I thought you were going to say unbearable weight on Massachusetts. No. I don't know why I expect <laughs> what? Massachusetts. I don't know that that'd be a Massive movie. talent. Very good movie. Massive talent. That's a very long title. It weight is. of Massachusetts would be a crazy <laughs> movie. What would that be about? Obesity <laughs> epidemic. Yeah. No, it's a documentary. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's, a, it's like a documentary about... I think you're getting canceled for this one, buddy. I'm just saying. Be prepared. <laughs> one, two, you're out. Oh, that was loud. <laughs> Kenzie, they're going to come for us. You're too loud. Oh, Kenzie. These headphones make me, like, unaware about how I'm probably, like, shouting right now. That's why I'm not shouting. <laughs> also, can I just say, if I was in that position, just go to a guitar center and find one of the soundproof rooms. Mm-hmm. Can you be fine? Is there no, you go on the roof right. and play Master of Puppets. Ah. Mm. Is that a? I feel like that's I, a Joseph. I feel like if I okay. I I feel like if yeah, I were to sorry. no. I feel like if I were Metallica to like, like purposely Come go here. out like Sam, I would definitely Come do here. what Sam did, and I would like play music while it's happening because like I oh, love music. Yeah. I love music. I love music. You couldn't catch me without it. So we're also probably like five minutes over time we are, at this point. We very right. much are. <laughs> that All ending right. scene is unrealistic though. That monster would go yeah and not yeah. All right, <laughs> all right, all right. Next, uh, next episode is unbearable weight, weight of um, Massachusetts. Oh unbearable weight of massive talent, and uh, we will see you next week. Goodbye.